Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, in this video, I am giving you an update of the castle project. Um, it's a little late this evening, but I've been working on it all night, and I figured let's take the video of it now and get that uh, get that up on YouTube so that you can see it. Uh, the customer is going to be leaving the country um, for a little while, and I wanted to give him a chance to see some of the progress that's been made before he goes. Um, so basically, um, what I've done is some work on the towers, um, some work on uh, the dressing of the top of the wall, as well as some of the buttresses. So uh, let's take a closer look. So, um, taking a look at the castle, most of the work that I've done has really been inspired by the Sirith Ungol piece. Um, I've been looking at that picture more and more, and I've noticed a few things about it that has, you know, altered my, my impression of the work as I've been going forward. Um, sort of starting from the ground up, uh, the uh, Sirith Ungol piece has, has a single large buttress kind of buried in it, um, and there's a, I'll put a photo in later um, in this video so you can see it and maybe pick out some of the things that I've been looking at. But um, it had a single large buttress, but the buttress had a pretty sharp 45 degree angle sort of buried in the interior of the piece. Um, so I wanted to emulate that with the buttresses along the side. Um, so I've uh, put in, um, what is that, six of these. Um, there's one around the corner here that you can't quite see at the moment and given them that 45 degree angle. And I noticed that that angle is kind of a consistent piece throughout, although that is a square castle as opposed to the round one here. But um, in any case, I wanted to emulate that as much as I could. Um, across the top, and I'll give you another angle of this, um, but across the top for the um, lip here, uh, for the, the embattlements, whatever you want to call this here, um, uh, what I noticed also in that piece were sort of narrow uh, cuts with uh, pendulum drops that were, you know, about the width of the cut. So I've tried to emulate that all the way around. And uh, then what I noticed also, of course, are these, you know, thinner drops on the, the towers um, where the, you know, the stonework is not as deep um, and has a, a long, you know, line to it. So I wanted to bring that into it as well to kind of contrast a little bit with this. And what I kind of like about it is it's got this sort of, you know, meshing teeth feel um, of a sort where there's, you know, lots of vertical elements um, that I can build upon as I go into the sort of final phase of of it, which is, you know, still a, a ways off actually at the moment. But in any case, um, I decided for the towers to um, not go with the crenellations, of course, you know, look, thinking of, of a Helm's Deep motif where it's a smooth top on all of them, um, which actually I think looks cleaner. And um, then what I did is, well, let's, let's take a little closer look at this. So what I really wanted to show is the join here. What I've done is I've I've made a cylindrical shroud, and uh, I'm going to have a follow-up video I'll work on tomorrow um, that actually shows some of the work I've been doing with the Hotwire 3D uh, scroll table and other tools to achieve some of these effects. Um, so you'll get some information on how I did some of this uh, in the next video. But in any case, um, what I did is I cut a cylinder to fit around the, the, the core of the tower, dropped that on, cut in some slots, but then left these flanges. I thought that'd be a nice contrast. Um, and then as I was working on them, I realized the flanges were just too big to carry down all the way on their own. So then I dropped them in um, a little more and then cut a thin strip of brickwork to follow down the tower. Uh, and that just really creates some nice leveling that really breaks up the overall feel. And uh, that I think is one of the keys to good um, architectural appearance is you know having multiple levels. When I look at buildings, I see that that depth that they've added to the structure. So I'm really trying to bring that out in this piece more than I have, uh, say, for the in the last castle, for instance. And there you get another angle at that. And here you can see the inside of the castle. Um, I haven't done any work on the inside trim yet, uh, but um, you can see the inside of the towers from here. And so each one will have a doorway that opens up onto the walkway. Uh, and um, in this case, I originally thought I might drop down lines off of it into the interior as well, but um, it's been quite a bit of work just to get them at this point, so I decided to skip that um, at this stage and uh, just continue moving forward. And you can see here the um, the lip uh, that um, you know marks the outside of the wall, and this is a, um, a little bit uh, just under an inch tall, as these are about half inch marks. Um, so this is about three quarters of an inch tall, which I think is going to work really well for um, uh, Lord of the Rings miniatures as they're just a slightly smaller scale than uh, Warhammer and so that should put them at about chest high I believe um, for the figures. 
So, um, and of course, if you're new to this project, uh, you might want to go back and take a look at some of the other videos leading up to this. Uh, but, uh, you know, one of the thoughts, again, is at the um, end of the project, I will be uh, bolting on, you know, metalwork and spikes, you know, uh, be, as it's been taken over by um, the forces of Mordor. And so, uh, you know, these buttresses and the lines are going to, I think, give me a great foundation to work from on that. And, of course, the towers will have a very different appearance, actually, at the end stage, as um, I'd like to have some flanges coming off of them um, and some, some different kinds of dressing on those. So plenty of work to do down the road um, and while uh, I feel like I don't have a lot to talk about in terms of work that's been done uh, this has been a lot of carving to get to this point I I was wondering if I could calculate how many feet of lines I've scored into this castle with the engraver um, it's a staggering amount I think it, at least to me as I've been sitting hours and hours just turning foam and you know striking lines uh, but uh, but, uh, you know, in the end, I think that's going to really pay off and it's going to be a really nice piece. So if you have questions or comments, you know, feel free to leave them down below. You know, I check all of them. I try to respond to almost all of them. And I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch this video and uh, keep your eye on the channel. Might be a week or so, maybe a little more before I have another video um, as I need to turn to some other projects um, that need my time. Uh, but, of course, I'll be revisiting this, Imperial Sector, and some other new stuff that's uh, in the planning stage. So uh, keep your eye on the channel. And I'll be back real soon.